Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is another UK mod showcase for Transport Fever 2. This is the second episode in a week, normally I do about one a week but uh, there's been so much, so many new mods released this week that I thought I'd do an extra episode just to cover a few of those so I don't get uh, behind on them. We're currently sat looking at this class 70. This is by Plain Simple and it's just a great looking mod. I mean I know the class 70 isn't Possibly the most attractive looking freight train, I know it's not that popular, but I think it's uh, in this freight liner, green yellow, I think it looks, it looks good, and the actual model itself is the main point, which looks fantastic. It's quite a complicated model to make with this front end, so uh, yeah, it is looking particularly good. Uh, just four freight trains, and well, any diesel freight trains, I'm going to put on this new freight route which I've built, and a little bit of detail to show off the uh, the mods. A little bit better but any diesel freight trains I've just put on this uh, this new little freight route carting some stone to the Conmats factory just so actually I think um, what I'll do is I'll just speed him along a little bit and when we get when he gets on the return trip he has to go up a little bit of a hill and I'll just be quiet for a minute just so you can hear the the diesel roar of the 70 um, shouldn't take too long maybe just oh, just wait for him just to start going up this little bit of a hill where he has to go over and over bridge and it's got some uh, custom sound I think for that as well <coughs> Yeah, there we go. It's a pretty good freight uh, locomotive to have. If we go over to the no, that's the wrong way. This is this is the right way up here into the depot. Take a look at our diesel locomotives. We can see we've got uh, two different versions here. We've got the original, and then we've got the one with an additional air intake. This apparently retrofitted to stop it to uh, stop them catching on fire after a couple of incidents with uh, class 70s uh, yeah so 75 miles per hour top speed 370 3739 horsepower 534 kilonewtons of tractive effort so it is a pretty powerful diesel locomotive I don't have much to compare it to I've got the uh, the slug still in my uh, menu 1822 so it is a pretty uh, pretty powerful modern diesel locomotive good for uh, especially freight uh, it, I think they were specifically designed for heavy haul freight like a stone train like I just showed you um, as we're over here in the sort of the freight area that I've built we do have some more trucks as well I thought I'd mention these because I mentioned the Scania R480s last time we have some uh, MAN TGS or MAN TGS 26 480s and this is transporting the conmats to the actual towns themselves so we've got some of these on there so we've got some more road haulage i know these are more these are just a european truck but you would see them again anywhere in the uk these are be by dma danny and dma raptor arc and should be available from 1999 comes in a whole variety of different uh, options and then we have by the same creators if it lets me click on him we've got some uh, vans as well a whole different range of cargo vans uh, available from 1995 I'll show you them in the depot in a minute but um, it's good to have a different variety of vehicles to use it's not uh, hasn't got the greatest capacity only six but it's just a funky little uh, funky little van to have uh, transporting stuff into your cities and again it's got uh, I don't think they're British plates anyway, but you would see these uh, Citroen vans anywhere in the UK. Uh, so if we head over to the little depot, we've got a whole host of different things going on here. So we've got like a an open, and then we've got a container, we've got an open pickup almost here, Citroen van. And there's uh, DHL again, what's that? Citroen again, and the Peugeot vans there i just put them on that just to take a look at them but if we take a look at them in the depot itself go to cargo uh scroll down 
to the DMA cargo vans and you can see there we've got the Citroen Jumper, the Fiat Ducato and the Peugeot Bipper uh, and then there's a Peugeot Boxer there which is the uh, the pickup version uh, let's see are they all the same they're all actually they do have different specs so the jump the Citroen 130 130 103 miles per hour 150 horsepower for those the little van 101 uh, miles per hour 80 horsepower and the boxer 99 miles per hour 131 horsepower capacity of 60 and then if we go down to the the man trucks you can see there we've got the all cargo container which has containers on and off as if it's empty or full and the tankers pretty much like the Scania exactly the same trailers but you've got a man truck uh, 487 horsepower 75 miles per hour top speed how does that compare to the uh, the Scania is the same, it's exactly the same, but it just depends on your preference. Do you prefer the Scania trucks or the MAN trucks? So there are some more road vehicles. I think back to rail, which is, uh, it seems to be what most people want to see. We do have um, these, which are, I, tried to, I did try and make this as easy as possible. We do have some... Uh, Reskins of the class 156, the reskins by War Pyro, uh, the, the, the of the original model by CW315. So, this is the East Midlands Railway Regional. So, this is kind of in between East Midlands Train by uh, Stagecoach and the East Midlands Railway. So, it's still in the Stagecoach colours, but it's obviously EMR, which is East Midlands Railway. On the back of that, there is the new Northern by Arriva, well it's not not by Arriva anymore is it, but uh, yeah this is the newer, new, newer livery for the Arriva colours and we do have the um, older northern ones as well somewhere here. Yeah so we've got a northern one there and then we've got another commemorative one on the back, Royal Air Force northern like that. So we've got loads of, I think it's got all the skin, all the liveries that the 156s have ever had on them, I think. So yeah, it's pretty good. And then what else have we got? We do have some new um, 91s. Now, I have just seen that there's an image of the uh, East, Coast, East Coast ones, the uh, VTEC. And the London North Eastern Railway, I th think 91s, but um, I'm not sure if that they might be out by the time this video is released. But this one also got released. So, this is the Class 91 Euro Phoenix. Uh, this would should be available from um, 2019. They were supposed to be, uh, they were purchased by Euro Phoenix and they were supposed to be exported, but with everything that's going on, they haven't been exported yet. So, they're sitting around somewhere. I don't think doing very much, but uh, yeah, we've got the Euro Phoenix livery, which I think quite a lot of people like. It's we'll go in blunt end here because we've got a, a the actual power car itself. You don't have a driving van trailer because they are just two power cars that they purchased. So there's one. Oh, maybe not. Take a, a close a look at that. So yeah, we've got the one five sixes, and we also have. Uh, another 80, uh, 86 skin pack so this has got loads of new skins so we've got a network rail one here so we've got a uh, network rail test train with the uh, the Mark II driving uh, DBSO on the back <laughs> so yeah I know it's going, it's going the wrong way so it wants to go to that but we'll just take a quick look at that I did put another one on somewhere else uh, where did I put that on so the 86s, so yeah, we've got um, we've got a Colas rail freight skin a livery, and we've got a Network Southeast livery as well. So yeah, we've got uh, plenty has come out. The reskins of the 86s by War Pyro, the original model by Killer Cans, I think. Taking a look in the uh, the depot, so we'll take a look at the 86s. So yeah, we've got. This uh, EB, uh, Colas, and 
network rail and the network southeast as well available and then if we go to the the 91s then you can see down there we've got the Euro Phoenix exactly the same stats as the rest of them I think yeah no, nothing different but it's in the Euro Phoenix livery and then if we go down to the diesel multiple units you can see we've got loads of new liveries for those we've got the new northern two different um, types of the older northern livery um, and a, Bil a Belio Great Anglia and I think it might have had the National Express did it prior to that but yeah we've got uh, got some new models for those anyway so yeah it is it's been an, a packed week this week I think with new uh, new trains coming out the modders really have been busy especially War Pyro he's just done so many new skins for new liveries for trains uh, he's been very busy indeed it's all good it all adds to the mix of vehicles that we can use within the game itself especially if you obviously working on a, uh, a British map so there we are a few more trains got some new road vehicles as well for you to use what should I leave you with I think I'm gonna go back to the what this class 70 because I, I really do like this model so I'm gonna leave you with the little uh, class 70 there in the freight liner and say until next time bye bye